In my presentation, I will try to share what we started last year. It's about the, how to mitigate the climate changes. We should always improve the thinking of all important people and to engage them more. It's an excellent uh, domain to relate bioeconomy and common agricultural policy. A new opportunities uh, for us to enhance the cooperation and uh, also it uh, can bring new knowledge to the project. If this is connected and the fact that we can talk about that during this meeting, it's what to do next. It is always great to visit Poland uh, to see the perspective of uh, different uh, value chains. As the Institute of Soil Science and Plant Cultivation State Research Institute, we have uh, cooperation set up with many of the partners. One of them uh, are located in Krakow to talk about the possibilities, how to boost the bioeconomy. We can create something, but it's difficult to make it alive after the project. We all know that. Those of you who are collaborated and involved in EU projects, it's always a struggle. In BioEco Up project, we use the Living Labs as a platform for bringing the bioeconomy field on a market and bringing it closer to the consumers or uh, people in general, because a lot of times we are not maybe aware what is the added value of the biobased products. And I think that the Living Labs um, as a framework is a great potential that we can explore these different values and receive and co create the benefit that those bio-based products have for the company on one hand and also for the users on the other hand. During this meeting, which took place in Krakow, we visited the laboratory of one of the startups, Rebred, who presented how to upcycle the size streams for the bread production. Our main product line includes probiotic uh, beverages, high protein ingredient and cosmetics, in which surplus bread is pre-processed and used as a main ingredient. So it is estimated about 15% of bread produced in Europe never reaches customers. It is a valuable resource that can be used by the food, beverage or cosmetic industry. And this is our goal of Rebred, to keep this valuable resource for human uh, consumption. We have discussed uh, about the next uh, challenges, how we can support the policy, the product, the creation, and also how we can uh, mitigate the barriers in the cooperation between the sectors. During the last decade, it became clear for the policymakers if we would like to put the agriculture on a sustainable path, we need a new logic, both in production and the economic thinking. We have to address such like problem, biodiversity loss, the degradation of natural resources, demographic e explosion. The mainstream economic thinking uh, cannot answer this kind of uh, problems. The circular economy concept is not enough to address this kind of issues. We should decrease the amount of uh, fossil-based uh, raw materials in the economy. The bioeconomic concept may support these goals, and uh, this is why we need the bioeconomy thinking, which supports decreasing the fossil-based raw materials in the economy.